Hey guys, welcome back to The Wolf Among Us with Dylan of Game Ward. I know I kind of look like a mess, and a lot of you might be able to tell that. I had an early day at work today. I left for work around 7.30. I got there for 8 o'clock in the morning to meet my boss. I work in a kitchen down in Milton, Milton, Vermont, called North Country Saloon. I do dishes as well as some cooking. After that, I got to ride home with my ma, because I don't drive. But I did practice driving, so I'm going for my license soon. That was a blast. I was so stressed. This is the first time I've ever driven a car, guys. Welcome to 20 miles an hour, guys. Either way. So let's get back to the story here. We got Wolf Among Us. Last time we finished off chapter 3, Crooked Mile. We got shot all oh, fuck. We didn't kill Tweedle Dumb or D. I'm pretty sure it was dumb. We got shot by Bloody Mary. Got our arm broken. Crane got taken by Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary, who is the Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary in the mirror kind of girl kind of thing. That myth. We got shot all the high Jesus by the Tweedles with shotguns, and then we got shot with a silver bullet by a revolver pistol by Mary. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's, it's you and your kids, dude. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? My I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Crane must have taken a shard with him. The open arms. I don't feel like I did all this. If you waited for me to explain before telling Beast. Big B? How could you do this to me? I guess I finally see you for who you are! Tell me who did it. Just tell me who did it. I know you know. I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? The werewolf! It was a good show, but, you know... That just asshole! Take, okay? Take Crane! Well, this is gonna you're rip your hey, fucking you eyes out! ...relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. I guess Start what? With the old, Bite me. With the new. Long live the queen. That was our recap, guys. Look at us, we're dead in our chair. Oh, <laughs> never mind, we're moving. That's really cartoony blood. Point bullets are a nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract what? every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. Easy there. Try not to move. Oh, gross. We can't keep meeting this way, old boy. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious, but there's little I can do for the pain. Swinehart, how bad is it? You know, not the worst I've seen, but damn near it. I must say, you're testing even my skills here. Please, Big B, don't move it. Doctor. Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his Ooh, life. I really don't want to do this. Extremity concerns him that much. He Here can we save go. Himself. Oh, don't make me do it. Please don't do more. The cringe is real, guys. The cringe is real. Oh, God. No more. That is disgusting. Oh. Disgusting. I guess it's pretty bad for people, but... 
Fucking guy, are you sadist? Huh. Not bad. That'll do, I suppose. He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be I next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. Well, he should. There are limits to what even I can do. This is, is the job. Quiet. Just Jeez. relax. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay. At least until he's... out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands. And I need the space to work, so... Don't worry, Snow. I'll be okay. Look at my messy we'll be done in a All moment. Just out, please, man. give us the time. Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. Could you please not distract the doctor while he has my chest cut open? Yes, that would be helpful. <sighs> there. All done. Great. This isn't a habit you should have to. Having visits with me. And, well, this time... This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart. Jesus. The only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Miss White. Oh, I can't. You'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will Look eventually give out. Absolutely. Take care of him. Please. I will. He'll need rest, I assume. Sleep mostly. Just keep watch. Not Make a child. sure he doesn't get into further altercations. I'm right I am here, an adult, guys. really. Anyways, guard against, as they say. Nineteen guys. I'm assuming Biggie's a couple Call of decades. It. Swiney. Jesus. That bone fixing scene. Oh God. Well, let's see. So, how do you, um, feel? It's Big B Snow. He'll be okay. Hell, I've seen him take worse. Not as good as can be expected, I think. So, not well then. I'm glad you're not dead. Like when I yawn. You, uh, you stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out or, or died, I guess. It, um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. I've never seen you like that. And when Swineheart arrived, you know him, he's never worried. And even he thought you were... Snow, I'd never leave you. Yeah, you look really fucked food, up, man. man. You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. Colin. I'm just saying I was worried about him is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some no, rest no. when this whole thing is done. Uh, yeah. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the crooked man taking over? Or is Crane still the thing? The Crooked Man, Bloody Mary, the Tweedles. This is bigger than what I thought I don't know it was. That. That, uh... Yeah. The Crooked Man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly that like that. Fable. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying. That's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder- Yeah, uh, 
Thanks, Snow, for all that back there. No problem. Thanks? You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? Or that the crooked man thinks he's got Snow under his thumb? We're all mad about it, Colin. What else could Snow do? If she didn't hand him over, my ass would be down the witching well. And Crane still would have been taken. Okay, okay, I'll take your word for it. Be all I scumbag. care about right now is... Just what does the crooked man want out of this? I thought he was just a... loan shark. But clearly, he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. You know, I couldn't really give a shit what they want out of this. Oh, they just made no. the wrong fucking enemy. <sighs> Remember what Swinehart said, okay? The Crooked Man declared agree, war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Bigby's the one on the front lines. Look, I know things haven't gone be. great recently, but you know we're still doing best. our best. That's not good enough. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dry, by the book, straight as an arrow. Pure is driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of- Sure you're not. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. We need monsters to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice... I'll do better. We'll do better. We have to be better than them, or what's the point? Right, exactly. Thank you. Look, I'm sorry that I have to bring all this up, but... I think it's important. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. Relax, Colin. I can speak for myself, okay? He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that... Now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. Look, everyone just calm down, all right? I'm perfectly calm. I'm not. Tell me right now, what's it gonna be, Bigby? I love phone calls. Wolf's residence. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay, I'll uh, let him know. Office. Thanks. Guess who's waiting in your Sparrow office right now? Where? Narissa. Narissa? That broad from the pudding and pie? <gasps> yes. Apparently, she God, told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. Guys. But that she'll only tell you. And what do you think that could be? Ah, uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the, uh, disenfranchised. She knows something. She's helped me a little with the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. So you're being dictatorish. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, Captain. She's a piece of work. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I mean, she seemed real serious about it, but I can still hang out here. I don't know. Snow will come around. She's just... You know, the crane thing hit her hard, and she doesn't really know who her friends are right now. 
Oh, okay. I like the I answer was kind of ambiguous on whose Thanks, side man. I'm actually on, and I don't want to say I'm against Colin, but there is a crush going on between Bigby and Snow there. God, I need bed. I'm half a fucking sleep. Security Office B Wolf. As in Big B Wolf. Oh, come on. Sadly, I am going to call it there, guys. I have been yawning. I am pretty wiped, guys. I have had a long, long day, considering my day's deal hasn't come to an end from yesterday. Last night, I had a really bad stomach. Yeah, I can't say I feel 100% now. I'll probably be out of my, out on my ass tomorrow, sick as a dog. So, I'm going to call the episode here. This has been Dylan, and this has been The Wolf Among Us. That is part one of chapter four. Oh, wolf and sheep's clothing. Tomorrow we'll get a little, or not tomorrow. Next time we play The Wolf Among Us, we'll get through the second part of chapter four and hopefully get some more information on Buddy Mary and the Tweedles and the Crooked Man. But for now, thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next episode. Have a good day, guys.